point in time recovery is used to prevent data loss. Now you can use point in time recovery with your DynamoDB tables. Point in time recovery or PITR provides continuous backups of your DynamoDB data for 35 days to help you protect against accidental write or delete operations. The continuous backup enable or disable point in, point in time recovery for your specified DynamoDB tables. Continuous backups are enabled on all of your tables at the table creation in DynamoDB. If point in time recovery is enabled, which is not by default, then the point in time recovery status is set to enabled. Once both continuous backups and point in time recovery are enabled, you can restore to any point in time within the earliest restorable data time and the latest restorable date time. Okay, now let's see how we can enable point in time recovery for your DynamoDB tables from AWS CLI. Let's first see what are the current settings. And you can use describe continuous backup um, argument with AWS DynamoDB in the CLI. And it outputs a JSON format. And as you can see, continuous backups are enabled for my table, but the point in time recovery is disabled. And as I mentioned, continuous backups are enabled as the, by default at the table creation. Okay, now let's enable the point in time recovery. The command to do that is this. So all I'm doing is I'm using AWS CLI with the DynamoDB service and I'm updating the continuous backups with a table name and then I am enabling the point in time recovery specification to boolean value of true. Press enter. And this is going to enable our point in time recovery status to enable. Now, and let's quickly describe it to see if the setting has taken effect. And as you can see, now it is enabled. Earlier it was disabled. Okay, cool. Now let's try disabling it again. And the only change we will make is in the update continuous backups, we are, we are going to set it to false. Press enter. Now it should change the status to disabled. And the status is changed to disabled. Now let's describe it again. And this time the JSON value should be disabled. As you can see, the point in time recovery status is disabled now. So one thing to remember, there is extra cost associated with, with it if you are enabling the point in time recovery. Now, one thing to remember is that make sure that you are using the latest version of AWS CLI because if you are using an older version, you won't be able to perform these operations. And in my case, I am using 2.11.4 version. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.